guys, I'm here to tell you the story about how Twitter punished 12-year-old me at the age of 22, 10 years later. Here we are, guys. You miss me? Yeah, I'm sure you do. No, I know you don't, but it's fine. I still like you, so it's okay. It's fine. We're gonna tell a story and stuff. So, who misses stories? Anyone? No? Yeah? Okay? Sure, good talk. Love you too. So, Twitter. We know Twitter. Everyone knows Twitter. I love Twitter. It's probably my favorite form of social media. I've had Twitter for a pretty freaking long time. Since 2009, to be exact. When I first signed up for Twitter, all I did was tweet Justin Bieber. I would text on my phone to, uh, what is it, 40404, something like that. Is that Twitter? I don't know. And I would tweet to Justin Bieber. And uh, I've since gone back and deleted all of those tweets because they were really creepy and desperate. Like, hey, uh, Justin, if you notice me, if you uh, tweet me back, by the time I leave Walmart, I will buy your CD. As if his CD wasn't like, you know, like a year old already and didn't even matter. Twitter was my thing at the age of 12. Well, come to find out, uh, you have to be 13 to sign up for Twitter. And I don't remember that at all. So, something happened. So on your profile, you can add your birthday, including the year you were born, correct? Yeah, well, several times I went in there to try to add the year I was born to uh, 96, because for some reason it was just preset on 95. And every time I would try to scroll down to 96, it would bounce back up. The menu was, would always just bounce back up to 1995. So I never shared on my profile my actual birth year, just my birthday. And I was like, that's so annoying. I really want my birth year on that. In April, I started getting really active on Twitter. I've always loved Twitter, and uh, sometimes I just forget it exists, or I used to, now I'm just like always on Twitter. But I started watching a lot of baseball, lots of Red Sox, I wanted to keep up with everyone else watching it on Twitter, and so I was just like really into the whole Twitter thing for like a couple weeks. And then uh, I was like, hey, let's try doing that thing one more time where I change the birth year on my account. So I did. For the first time ever, it didn't bounce back up to 1995. It let me change it to 96. But before I clicked submit, it said, you can only make changes to your birthday a handful of times, you know? So I'm like, of course, this is my actual birthday. I'm never going to change it again. Submit. Hold up. All of a sudden, I get this notification. Your account is locked. Our terms of service require everyone who uses Twitter to be 13 or older and we have determined that you did not meet the minimum age requirement at the time this account was created. The date of birth entered for this account is September 12th, 1996 and the account was created on April 3rd, 2009. We use this information to figure out how old you were when this account was opened. April. Five months before I turned 13 is whenever I opened my Twitter account. I don't remember that. That was 10 whole years ago. I don't remember. But apparently I broke the law and I, I joined Twitter five months shy of my 13th birthday. And now, 10 years later, at the age of 22, they decided to lock my account for something I don't even remember doing. Now when I tell you I was angry, Oh, everyone heard about this. Everyone. Everyone I came in contact with had to know, oh, by the way, my Twitter's locked because 10 years ago, I was 12 instead of 13. Did you know that? Don't change your birthday on Twitter because you'll get locked out. First, I'm seeing notifications saying, like, your Twitter is permanently deleted, like, you can't get it back, there's nothing you can do. And I'm like, hold on! I need this Twitter. First of all, I love having accounts that say they've been, like, open for so long. I'm just like really big on, guys, look at me. I was on this before you were. I'm so cool, you know? Cause nobody actually cares, but I do. But the other thought I had was all the followers I have, Joey Lawrence, Madison Pettis, you know, America's Angel from Corey in the House, Monique Coleman, Taylor McKessie, and Hot Show Ray. I'm just gonna lose all these followers that are just like so amazing. All these followers that I got myself, even though they're bots or or whoever controls their Twitters uh, are the ones that followed me. Like, this is just insane. Like, how am I ever gonna get these people back? I'm not. So I fell back onto my Butter Lover Amy Twitter account, which thankfully I had, and I just started up there, but it just didn't feel right, didn't feel the same at all. It's really sad. I Googled this issue and I found a lot of people saying a bunch of different things. Like, oh yeah, it's been several months and my issue still hasn't been solved. Some people said, it's been a year 
And my Twitter is still locked because of how old I was when I created my account. Panic mode, this is stupid. Why is this happening to me? I just wanna tell the truth now. Yes, I lied when I was 12 and I don't remember doing it, but I wanna tell you right now how old I actually am. So I did the whole recover my account, blah, 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 and they were like, mm, yeah, we'll get back to you. A whole month later, on May 7th, I get a, an email. Dear Amy C. Parks, we wanna thank you for your patience and apologize for the delay. The restoration process was more complicated than we anticipated, and we needed to make sure we got it right. Eligible account owners, now 13 years or older, will be able to restore their locked account in the next few weeks, we'll email you with instructions. Accounts must be claimed within 30 days of the forthcoming notice. Otherwise, you won't be able to reinstate it. We hope to see your tweets again soon. Thanks, Twitter. You're lucky that I checked these emails for this Twitter account. Like, I don't check this email. I don't look at this email. Oh, 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 if I hadn't seen this, if I saw this like 30 days later and I wasn't able to reinstate my account, <sighs> Oh, that would not be good. That would have not been good. Then on May 21st, I get another email that says, you may be able to reinstate your account. If so, you'll be able to keep some of your account information, like your username and the people you follow, while removing some other information. Great, I'm gonna lose all the people that follow me. You know, I'm just like, it's not good, it's not good. Get started, log into Twitter, so I did that. So I click on the link and I go to this page. It says, unlock your account. Before getting your Amy C. Parks account unlocked, you'll need to allow Twitter to remove some of the information associated with this account, including tweets you posted before you were 13. Well, that's okay because I already deleted pretty much all of them because they were all to Justin Bieber. Likes you gave before you were 13, they were probably all of Justin Bieber's tweets, so. Also, I never even had any likes before I turned 13 because they were called favorites at the time. Thank you, Twitter. Direct messages you sent and received before you were 13. I don't even know that Twitter had direct message that they might have, but I, I definitely didn't use it because I didn't talk to anyone on Twitter except Justin Bieber and he definitely wasn't DMing me. Profile details other than your username and date of birth. Moments, lists, and collections. Great, so I lost my big brother list because I have this whole list of Big Brother people that watch the live updates and uh, keep you posted on them and I just lost that whole thing so that's really good, love that for me, but it's fine. I made a new one, it's fine, we're fine. So I did all that. And then finally, on May 23rd, I get the email. We've restored access to your account! Hello! We really appreciate your patience. Your account is unlocked and ready to use. <sighs> What a ride, what a ride, what a journey. What a journey, what a uh, month and a half, the worst month and a half of my entire life, thanks to Twitter and 12 year old Amy, uh, five months shy of 13 year old Amy. Uh, curse you, curse you. And I just don't understand Twitter, like I understand like the, uh, your policy and everything, but like if you made it 10 years ago, 10 years ago, you don't even remember not being old enough to make it. You should put some kind of like different age restriction on that. Like, oh, if you made it like four years ago and you were like not 13 yet and uh, now you definitely are, then yeah, here you go, here you go, you know? But like if I made it 10 years ago when I wasn't 13 yet, what's 13 minus 10? Three years old. So surely 10 years later, I would have reached 13 years old unless I made a Twitter account when I was two years old. What is this algorithm? What is happening here? Is that even the right word? I don't know, I just work here, it's fine. <sighs> so that's my Twitter story. I thought I was gonna lose all my followers. I actually logged in and couldn't find any of my followers. It said zero followers. And then finally, like a few hours later, it restored itself and I was good to go. So, that was good. That was my struggle in, in April April and May. Uh, that was really hard time in my life. Um, it was really rough. And uh, follow me on Twitter at Amy C. Parks and at Butter Lover Amy, but I don't really use that uh, much as I should, you know. But uh, Amy C. Parks, so I'll see you there. Follow me on Twitter. That's my story of how Twitter locked me out. I'm now 23 um, and Twitter locked me out this year uh, because I wasn't old enough to use Twitter. So, 12 year olds. Don't get too attached to your Twitters. So, that's the moral of the story here. And uh, I'll see you next time. See you when I see you, so I'll see you then. Oh wait, hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, then okay. And I'll see you everything that I just said, so.
take it or leave it.